Now, Collective, this is your clarity reading for September 9th. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guides, for your wisdom, your guidance, your inspirations, your kindness, your protection, and above all, your presence with us. So I went ahead, like I always do, and started pulling cards for you, and a whole bunch of cards come out, or <laughs> came out, excuse me. So we're going to go through and do these cards for you. The Mask. Neither you or anyone else involved in your situation has the clear picture of what has happened, what is happening, and what will happen. Okay? So you're kind of being called here to understand that none of us ever see the whole picture. Okay? That's why it's important to align ourselves with the divine and stay in that really good energy because that's when the synchronicity and the magic happens, right? We've got the detective here, which I think you had the other day. Number 39, look past the veil of illusion that someone is trying to pull over your eyes, that someone could be you, so examine your assumptions. I would also add to that to examine your expectations, your intentions. Intentions are different than expectations, okay? Intentions are something that we set a focus towards, expectations come kind of from the ego when we start to try and decide how things are going to happen before they happen. And the mask is confirming here that that's not the way it works, right? Because there's a lot of other energy involved. We've got the game changer. How confident you feel about magic and change, especially your ability to magically change yourself and your situation is crucial. So you're being called out here, collective, Okay, even in the midst of the unknown, okay, on several facets of our lives, we have to be confident. And the way we do that is to tune into source, okay, tune into that divine light, fill ourselves with that light, try to shed the anxiety, the fear, the doubt, the anger, whatever that looks like for you, grief, right, process that stuff. And stay in that alignment with gratitude and love. I cannot say enough about the spirit of gratitude. That will align you quicker than anything. Okay? We also have number 33, the witch. Be aware of your reputation, your influence, and your power to create, preserve, or destroy. Powerful women are often misunderstood. Wow, that's a mouthful, right? Like, um, you know kill the patriarchy not the planet right i'm just teasing so anyway we have to look at our communication systems okay coming into this retrograde we had that you know we were in virgo season we're coming into this pisces full moon it's about patience it's about purity it's about leveling up into a mature communication so that if you're choosing your words wisely and they're not coming from ego, okay, then you're offering that person what you want to say, but leaving room for them, okay, to kind of filter. <laughs> I don't know how to explain what I'm saying here. Um, Everybody reads or sees what they want to see. So you always want to make sure you come from a point of love and from the highest good, from a balanced perspective. If you have anger, if you have whatever emotions that you have, deal with those on your own before you bring it to that situation. Okay, so that whomever you're speaking to or dealing with, you're dealing with on a really high frequency, a very high level. All right, because when you're doing that, then that helps them on their journey. Okay, no matter where they are, what level they're at, whatever they're perceiving, if you say things in a balanced way, it leaves little room for misinterpretation. Okay, or at least it's misinterpretation. Misinterpre Do they mean this good thing or this good thing, right? That's where you want to leave people in situations like that. Yeah, we've got the angel here. Number 47, you may soon encounter a person or events that will benefit you in ways that seem to have angelic origins. You may be called to be an angel. And I can tell you, Collective, if you are right now seeking clarity in your soul purpose, you are called to be a light worker. And when I say that, I mean folks that are decidedly 
and mindfully working in their soul's purpose for the betterment of the planet. Okay, that is my definition when I say light worker. Okay, it could be a doctor, it could be a dentist, it could be a Reiki healer, you could work with herbs, you could work with children, um, you could work with the elderly, you could be in an elderly care home. If you are in your soul's purpose and you are using your gifts and your talents for the betterment of the planet, okay, for good, right, then, and out of ego, right, not because you want accolades, but because you really feel called to do that, you are a light worker, okay an earth angel right and these are the rewards that are coming in i've been getting this type of situation coming in a lot with these readings coming into this retrograde coming into this pisces full moon uh, there was a big shift with that lion's gate and the area uh, excuse me the aquarius super moon things have accelerated in some ways yes we're waiting on a lot of things but things have also accelerated so just know that you will be rewarded and also know, okay, that you're, you know, you're learning so that you can pay that kind of divinity forward. Okay, you next time around the cycle, you will be the one that's giving to the person that's waiting for you to step in. That's how it works. We also have the shield maiden, we have make plans and focus, release the old and rest, which we're coming into this full moon. It's in Pisces. It's about patience. Okay. Double check before you're sending texts or emails. Okay. We really want to think hard about our communication, not doing things impulsively as we might feel the need to do them impulsively with all these energies swirling around. I think there's actually six planets in retrograde, you know, at the same time. So a lot of things are getting shifted. A lot of things are being brought up. And it's practice to stay tuned in. Go at your pace. What is there for you is waiting for you. Okay? What else do we have for the collective? For people seeking clarity in their soul purpose, please. Thank you, Spirit. I'm hearing something about a motorcycle. I don't know what that means. I feel like somebody, um, actually, I feel like somebody is using a motorcycle out there to do things for good. Um, some kind of transportation, like offering their transportation uh, towards some kind of a benefit, maybe, or donations or something like that, um, which brings, you know, brings to mind, thank you, spirit, that if you're in a crunch situation, some of the best, sometimes the best way to get past and out of your head is to go help somebody else. Okay. It gives you perspective. It gives you a way to give. Okay. Which, you know, brings in some balance to the situation. Okay. Yeah. We have the queen of cups here. We have the Ten of Wands, wow. And we have the Strength card, that's amazing. Okay, Queen of Cups is all about love, mature, balanced, healthy love. And she's got the flow here, okay? She's got the flow of the water. She gives and receives in a very balanced way and she knows how to do that. Now I'm using the Divine temp Feminine term, the gender term, this person, this energy, there's a flow, okay, and it's warm and it's loving and it's 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 um it's bright and it's expansive. Okay? We also have the ten of wands here. It's harvest time. So I feel like collective, you are really turning in here, okay, with this process that spirit gave to us. Okay, you are turning in here and learning how to love not only yourself but to go out in the world and give and receive in a really balanced way that's authentic to you, okay? A lot of us have been shifting. We're not the same people that we were, right? That's the what the process is about, this, this death, this rebirth, this butterfly aspect, right? And I feel like you're hitting that point here, okay? Because you're also got the 10 of wands coming in here, which is a, a card of incredible harvest, okay? This is going to be huge, all right? You folks have tamed the lion. You have learned what you needed to learn. You've self-regulated. This is, 
you know, this is a card of strength and self-regulation, okay? And that strength comes from, um, you know, really doing the work, okay? Sorry, I had some cards fall on the floor here. Really doing the work and finding out who you are, okay? Identifying things that need to be worked on and doing the work. So you have tamed like your inner lion, right? Now you can use that power. It's a card of stepping into your power. Now you can use that power or wield that power for good in a very mature way. So you have really leveled up your collective. I'm so excited. And this 10 of wands, we're going we're gonna to actually clarify right now here. I'm going to put these two beside us, beside each other. Can you clarify that uh, Ten of Wands for me, please, Spirit? What abundance are we looking at here? Okay, I have a King of Pentacles here. And I have a Seven of Swords. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the Divine Masculine King of Pentacles. He is logical. He has built a kingdom. Okay? He is a person that takes care of other people. He does things in a very logical way. His finances are good. His home life is secure. Note the roses on his throne here. Okay, he has nurtured, he has grown. And the fact that you've got the King of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands shows me that not only are you harvesting in projects, but you've also got your financial health coming together here too. For some of you, I still feel like you feel some restrictions here. This is a card of growth. This is a card of kind of, you know, you're working and you're working and you're working and you still feel like you're kind of blocked there. Okay. It could be a timing issue. We've got a lot of divine timing issues. If things are taking a while, it's because the universe is, is waiting for either you to step up. And what I mean is to be ready. Okay, to settle in, to be ready to receive. Okay, and it could also be if you've experienced restrictions in certain situations, that could mean that literally um, that's not meant for you. The universe is actually protecting you. But I feel this is more coming in for you um, as a matter of giving you time to like mentally prepare. Yeah, see, there's the validation here. Okay, which is why you're getting these cards up here, right? Okay, the mask, the detective, the game changer, the witch, right? Okay, make plans and focus, release the old. Okay, this is the old that needs to be released. This is the mindset, okay? Because no matter what is around you, you can think and feel your way through it and claim your power back. That's what you're being called to do here so that you can move forward to these cups. But I collective, I feel like there's going to be a huge harvest here. Just huge. Can you give us another read on that King of Pentacles? Whoop, card flying. Oh, and see, I'm hitting the camera now. Oh, Mercury in retrograde. No, I'm just kidding. But it has affected my tech. <laughs> and, uh, just feeling a little groggy and stuff with all the downloads. Yeah, death and rebirth. See, this is the new opportunity that's coming in for you. Okay, this is new stuff. This energy is new. The projects might not be new, but this energy is new. And I also have the Wheel of Fortune here. And often these cards come out together because it's the turning of the wheel. You know, we go through a death process, we, we do our work, and we come out the other side on this rebirth with plenty of opportunity. This is going to be an incredibly huge harvest for you. Um, and I'm, I'm going to tell you, I mean, the work that you're doing, these readings have been incredible over the last month for you guys. I, I just don't even know what else to say here. Yep, Four of Cups. Okay, all the cups are divinely given. Are you going to take the one that is being offered from the divine or are you going to look at these three other cups that are sitting there? Okay, and that's what's happening is you're getting ready. Here's confirmation that that is an ace of cups coming directly from the divine here. 
Okay, you've got the five of pentacles here. Okay, you have been in a situation where you kind of feel like you've been struggling financially. They want you to know that the abundance is coming in here. It's about your emotions. It's also, this is a timeline thing. I'm feeling this is actually a time frame after this full moon, things are start going to start getting moving here. Okay, for a lot of you, this is about being in your emotions. That's what's been holding you up. Okay, you've had a lot of struggle here. And I know we could, these cards keep coming out. It's not like I want to keep giving you the same messages, but it's about moving past this. It's about knowing that things take time. The universe is calling judgment out. That card comes up with it all the time too, letting you know that it's okay to go at your pace, but don't move into the grief. Like we're supposed to visit grief, process it, take care of it. You're not supposed to move in and live there. Don't live there is what I'm hearing. Mind, body, spirit. You're being called out here to take care of your mind, your body, and your spirit. I'm going to go ahead. This read is getting long here. What do we have for the collective, please? Thank you, angels. Inner authority. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for supporting me as I take back my power and listen to my intuition, desires, and feelings. Okay? Okay. What was I saying before? It's about taking back your power in any situation, stepping into your power in order to deal with that situation for the highest good. Okay. It's like that Zen, the, the Zen detachment is kind of what I've always termed it as, or thought of it as in my, as in my life here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No matter how many excellent deeds you may have performed for a thousand eons, such as generosity or making offerings to the Buddhas or others, they all perish in one fit of anger. Okay? So you've been doing the practices. You know, sometimes when I'm dealing with people or a situation that is particularly triggering for me, or the minute I even think about it, I get all these emotions or something like that. I process those emotions, but I will literally sit down and write phraseology out to use to speak to that person. Um, there have been times when I've been dealing with people on the phone where I actually have that list right beside me. And as I'm talking to them, I am using the phraseology that I've written out because the emotions, you know, make my head start to swim. Okay. And that's me being responsible. That's me making sure that I can communicate what I need to stay and I can stay focused no matter what that other person is doing. It's about staying aligned. Okay. And staying grounded and rooted. Anyway, collective. I'm going to go. Yep. I felt called here. Togetherness. You are never alone for your angels are always with you. Say to yourself, my angel is always with me. We are one in this collective. We are all going through um, these changes and these transformations. Okay? Know that you're not alone. Take good care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And be kind out there.